All right, everybody, welcome. Today, we are doing one ones only. Uh, the achievement thing kind of makes that look messy, but basically, when you end your turn down here, every pet on your team must be 1-1 one, one exactly. Exactly one attack and one HP. Um, some things just start that way, thinking Frill Dragon and Deer down here. But you can also get a ton by buy-selling stoats or mushroom pilling. So uh, that's generally how you'll be trying to get stuff. I am going to hard roll for the lizard if I can. Yeah, there's one at least. Maybe give that a honey. There's another. And let's be the evil bananas. Let's go. And yes, sloth, sloth is allowed, but try and try and not mess with it too much. Um, as is any summons, you can summon larger things or grow during the fight. It is really just during that one phase that it matters. Oh my god. What a team. <laughs> okay. Um, what would I be looking for after this? Do I even want the honey? I think I am just going to be doom rolling for for guys. Alright. Just want to get three frill dragons? Oh, there's worse out there now. Oh, so you're talking about the first round. <laughs> what is this? How did they get this already? I'm losing it. What happened there? Water of Youth, you're right. I forgot I put this in. <laughs> so yes, you can you can change stuff. I did also put in Competo, so yeah. We actually can be just upgrading these. Didn't think of that. The thing is, I literally thought about it when I made this pack, but I made it like a week ago, so I couldn't remember the new stuff in it. But yes, you can transform your pets and stuff, and they will retain their stats. So you can keep a 1-1 from a really low tier, give it Competo and keep like upgrading it, or you can just upgrade from the same tier with this. Um, for now, I'm going to be hard rolling for Stoats anyway, though. I could like Gingerbread or something, but I can't actually combine things, because obviously if you combine, then they are going to grow in stats. And Pogo Pogo. All right, yeah. Maybe throw one of these down. Throw that on you. Another Ogopogo, can't do that. Keep ignoring. Alright, so the question is whether I want to keep Ogopogo or if I want to transform it into something else. Maybe I can transform it into like, a Stoat again later and get a, a high tier thing. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. So you can use Gingerbread? Yes. Any... What is this? Oh, it literally says clone. Um, Yeah, any food is allowed... Like, it is really just this. As long as your team looks like this when you send it off, then anything goes. So, yeah. Like, I can buy that, but I don't want to. And I'm going to save this for later. And I don't know whether to save this. I think I will. I'm going to save that to see if I get a, a better one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one more. I mean, sort of, but I can't stack it or anything. So, yeah, just keep rolling that. Don't need more of those. We're looking for tier 3s. Ferret with Tennis Ball is going to ruin these builds. Oh yeah, I remember that in the old days. I also remember that I took out Deer, but I put it back in today because it's like the OG. Hey Dub, welcome back to YouTube. They have a bee. I hadn't even been thinking about all the other like random things you can pill. I, I could have been pilling... What? Obviously B, um, Zombie Cricket maybe, but I already had a full team so I guess it's kind of pointless. So yeah, I'm going to be selling these now. No point combining, really. And Flying Squirrel. Are there... Oh, I could get good toys. Hold on. Deal three damage to two random enemies. If I can get like a tier two ferret thing, then this could be very nice. This could also be very good. Oh! Okay, I don't even need the transforms. Yeah, we just leave that. More. More. More overpowered tiny things. Yes. Um, but it's on you, I guess. I could try and gingerbread or something, but I don't really see a, a purpose to that. Don't really want to transform anything. Can't use more of those. We we just send it. Um, I'm hoping this can give it to itself. It says from most friends, but I don't know. Things we can't use his ability, so I wasn't really thinking about him. Okay, he can give it to himself, so it's not wasted at least. And they actually had. <laughs> Some faint pets. But this... This is brutal. Okay. See, I just need to try and remember. If I see a ferret, I need to pick him up. Unless there are better toys somewhere else. What other toy pets are in here? If I even have any. I'm genuinely not seeing them, so yeah, it's probably just ferrets. Okay. 
So I'd like to save this to see if I can find three, because this honestly might be enough to just carry us for a very long time anyway. So if I can get the upgraded ferret ability and keep that around forever, then I'll be pretty happy. But that also depends on how soon I get the... I rolled ferret. Oh my god. It wasn't shiny and I can't remember it. Nice. Interesting. Oh, they sniped both of my back lines. Okay, well played. <laughs> well played, I guess. Um, let's let's change order a little bit. Maybe get rid of you. If I sell this tiger bug. I like it. You do need to be further back. I I'm still holding out hope that I can get the level on this, but I'll have to start finding like actual chocolates or something. Look at the thick bug. Deal four damage to the lowest health enemy on the start of battle. I mean that's a really good snipe, but. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. Scroll needs to be level 2 too, for level 2 toy. Oh, really? Ah, okay. You're right, they changed this. I'm pretty sure it used to just be always resummon the toy as it was, but gain attack. But yeah, that's... That isn't how I remember. Fair enough. You've only gone one stoat so far. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my god! Why? How is it that my best stuff is always getting started, like, sniped right at the start? Alright, I think I'm gonna yeet this guy. I think these guys are all kind of strong, but... Yeah, let's get some start of combat tennis balls. And then I'm hoping to find another thing for my team. Hmm. I can't use any of this. I could take a potato to try and, like, keep it alive. It's going to be like really tiny damage snipes, like either 4 damage from one of these fig things, or yeah, tennis ball 1 damage. But anything to try and keep it alive. Oh wait, you have Anubis Hedgehog? Are you joking? Yeah, Hedgehog is absolute chaos on this. Woodpeckers are also very good, and there's a double deer team already. There's a lot of deer around, actually. Ghost Kitten will go hard. It will be very strong against tiny snipes, yeah. Oh. I mean, they have more summons than me, and they're larger. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Why is it called Anubis Hedgehog? No, no, there's Anubis, and then there's Hedgehog. And then there's Deer, tee -hee. Um. Oh yeah, I don't know if I want to try and transform something. I could change Deer into something else. Because it can turn into any Tier 4. Do I want that? I don't know what Tier 4 I'd want. I, I like the ones I have. Maybe I wait until I can, like, upgrade things. Yeah, just just keep going. Another deer. I think I should maybe try and go for an upgraded royal flycatcher later, because I do feel like that is very strong. And I don't know whether it's just pineapple. Like, there were some things that lived in that last fight. Yeah, I'll just send that. I have jump bug? I do! It's got to be very good, because if I have, like, two snipes every time it jumps, I don't have um onions in the pack or anything. Also, I don't think that's 1-1. One, one. And yeah, that's what I need to see. <laughs> These guys are amazing. If they don't get sniped right at the start, then yeah, I'm in. And dear cake, you are right. That is pretty good. Um, it would be worse if I then try and upgrade it, but yeah, for now, why not? All right. So am I still just like doom rolling for stoats? I don't want more of this. I actually like my team. Um, I will freeze this. I'm kind of tempted to try this turn, because if you do get a Rhino and then like a Stego or something, then you could do some very nice stuff there. But yeah, I'm going to hold off, I think. Don't need more of those. I don't know, maybe I should be freezing Deer, because I could freeze Deer, try and get Compato, and then I could upgrade and see what it turns into. The other thing I could do is just like buy a Rhino and then Mushroom Pill, but I'd have to have both of those frozen to feel safe about it. Surprised you didn't include Scorpion. The only reason I didn't is because it doesn't really do anything. Like, a scorpion in this... This kind of lobby just doesn't really get used. So I try to include more interesting things that are harder to get instead. So I still like you. I still love these, but I don't know whether I keep both. This did a lot of work, but I do think that bus is kind of boring. So we move you 
we have an octopus. After attack, yeah, deal six damage to something once. Uh, could be better. I may transform this, or I can like mushroom pill it or something. Cause I yeah, I could get that to um level two. After attack, deal six damage to one random enemy. I need a way to keep it alive. I don't know. I think I'd try and upgrade that. So I need mushroom pill first. Hmm. Is mushroom in here? Mushroom is in here. Yeah, so I want a mushroom on there, then I can try and level it and pill it in the same turn. And then we can maybe try and change it into something else. And this is gonna be brutal. <laughs> they have so many summons that it's just endless rain of rocks. Alright. Level 3 Mandrake? Does someone actually have that? None of you. Come on, Mushroom. Stego would be incredible, but... Mushroom. Mushroom me. I'm not freezing a pill. Okay, good. That is good. And I still like most of the rest of this. I may get rid of the Flying Squirrel at some point, but honestly, the Tennis Ball is doing a ton of work too. Those Flycatchers or whatever they're called are so strong in this. They are. If they don't get Insta-Sniped, then they're crushing it. Look at this! So what's that? Like, getting a level 2 Anteater and then pilling that? And then combining all the Ants or something? Oh my god, level 2 Stego. Terrifying team. Yeah, this is deer everywhere, though. Rhino? So Rhino is great if you can get some stats on it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gotta be it. I don't even see these guys going anywhere. I think I just keep these forever. I could like mushroom them and then... Oh, what? I could mushroom them and then try and like upgrade those too. But we're trying the octopus first. Come on, I just need like one pill. And you know what? I'm freezing this. Like, why not? Come on, a pill. A pill, good. Okay. Excellent. You definitely just keep the flycatchers. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. Still don't know about this guy, because like the extra snipe at the start is cool, but honestly, it's basically just like a mosquito trigger. <laughs> so I could probably just replace it with any other kind of good thing. Can't believe you find so many stoats. Yeah, but I'm also not sure if I'm using these ones. Because I'd have to... So, yeah, see, like this guy alone is a lot better than my tiny starter combat snipes. So yeah, maybe I just abandon my my toy. Anyway, so we can get you leveled up. You're level 2. We're not going to be pushing it higher than that. So we pill. He gets resummoned as a 1-1, one, one, but he is level 2 now. And uh, I don't know if I sell him this turn, to be honest. Like, if it turns into this, then it'd be great. Limefish is bad. <laughs> Again, unless we have Stego or something. Tiger would be pretty cool. Uh, let's just eat it. All right. So let's get you out. Cerberus! Empty front space, summon one... Yeah, fire pup. Okay, I think that's fine. I think this could be the team. And I could freeze chocolate, but again, I want to try and level you then. And I see another one of these. I need mushrooms and stuff. Okay, does the Anubis still go off? It doesn't. Okay, that's huge. <laughs> the snipes. Oh, poor guy. And then we summon an 8-8. Okay. See, I'm tempted to combine, well not combine, but transform this, because it is fine, but unless I can keep it alive and get like a ton of snipes out of it, then it might not be as good as a lot of these other things. So I'm pretty tempted to take a chance here. Orca. Uh, oh, what would I throw to the front though? I could do it there. Because we need an empty front space for these two, and I don't want these things at the front, but... <laughs> I don't know, maybe I do look at getting rid of one of these. I try and mushroom pill you. Okay, yeah, I think I think I do this. We try and combine and level up. Um, I'd need another level on that, but I may keep that frozen. I probably should just mushroom the orc, honestly, and throw it at the back. Mushroom orc. I know. I'm still trying to think about like my future team though, but I'm on one HP, so my future team is probably just me dead. Okay, that's gonna be a very large thing. A Nessie! <laughs> yes. Big. Alright, lots of pills. 
Um, we do not need that many. I need one more XP for these. Now I can maybe grab. Stoat. Like, I can try buy selling whenever I combine these, but... Okay, another mushroom. Excellent. So I can put that on you. And then I'd have to throw it back here. But that's that's fine. <laughs> it's still good. And yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to be doing the flycatcher next turn. Just, you know, yeah, combine everything. Make sure I keep the mushroom. Level it, pill, and then I can buy sell stoat into empty slots. I'm hoping that'll keep me alive. We'll try. They don't have snipes. So I think Orca is going to get summoned at about the right time. Oh my god, all the, all the random stuff. We got an eagle out of the Orca. It's incredible. Even this stalk would have been amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I need to combine that way. And we can level you up. And then I can pill you. And now you are a 1-1 one, one again. And then we have to buy sell this if I want to have something on the team this turn. Yeah. And I'd like to freeze Cerberus, but I think I do get rid of Octopus and then try and like do some mushroom pill stuff here. Or I guess I can Compato. Yeah, we can change this. See what else it can turn into. Oh god, Tiger. Do I just do this or something? Probably not. I, I think I still have to leave that there. Is that or I put it behind this? But then we're not killing anything. Oh god, a rhino. That might be it. We get a lot of little summons though. Why <laughs> they have such a big guy? Yeah, never mind. Extremely dead. Good team, sub. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Man is like top six though. I'll take that. Good game, guys. Good game. Alright, everybody, welcome. Uh, new backgrounds, but yeah, we're doing cats only. That means you can only use sort of feline pets. Um, I'm not going to point to all of them because I don't know all of them, but they should hopefully all be on the left side. So you got these four here. Um, nothing on this end. You do have Lynx and Chimera and the lion that Chimera summons. Um, you have these two down here and then a whole load of stuff at tier 6, all the way up to Manticore. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what people do with that. Can't use that, but I will buy sell and then look for another duck. Oh, I can't roll fast. Please. Okay, there was a duckling. And, oh, lazy pieces. Let's go. Alright, um, so I'm going to buy these, I think, and then roll once and see if it can turn into a cat for me. Come on, one, one more. Nope. Alright, <laughs> just buy this then. Buy that, freeze. Oh, it replaces it. Dude, I, there's been too many changes that I just haven't seen. Yeah, I replace shop food with one free apple. Ah. Oh, early lucky cat. Okay. At least I don't lose HP. <laughs> Alright, so we roll. I will buy sell stoats. And we did get a tabby cat, but that's not the one I really wanted. Okay. These are good. And yeah, we can have Sphinx as well. So, friend summoned, give it plus one attack, or friendly level up, give it plus one plus one. Well, that's what I should have gone for, apparently. I didn't know what the toys were. But yeah, maybe go for the friend level up, because I can maybe get that. But it, it doesn't sound permanent, and I'm not going to get an actual one, so I guess I do still go magic carpet. Go magic carpet, do that. Send again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe a decent team. Um, so we keep rolling. I do want to try and get like a gingerbread on there, but any of these I'd be happy to see more of. Nice. Hey, we actually got something out of you. Um, maybe buy the tabby for this turn, and then I can buy the Sphinx next turn to reset my toy. Kind of like that. Alright, so let's throw you to the front. I think the rest of this is mostly fine. Maybe that way. And let's see what people are running. So yeah, a lot of different toys. There's already like five different ones there. Um, Lemur is not a cat, by the way. But otherwise, this is looking pretty good. So many ghost cats. Show me one of those. I still haven't really bought those yet. Oh. 
I think if I repositioned, then that could have been fine. But yeah, they got me dead. And hey, I can even level the Lynx. Do I start with leveling Tabby though? C tier 4. It'd be so much better to see tier 6, but there's no way we just keep waiting, so. Yeah, I think we get the combos as they come. So let's see what this is first. Fairy and Turtle. Um, I'm pretty tempted to just pill Turtle here, but let's have double check what you do. All friends fainted, summon a Salmon of Wisdom, or empty front space, summon a big guy's dog. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for this, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Put down there. Gonna buy this separately, but then next turn I still think I'm gonna combine. And I, I don't know what's happening. Friendly level up, give it plus one, plus one. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna level this up, so... Why not, right? Friendly gained perk. Give two random friends plus two HP until the end of battle. Got it, got it. <laughs> and welcome, Heston. Okay, that's the kind of team I want to see. Very sorry, Cyberan. <laughs> okay. So I think I still combine here. Like, these things are better, especially if I get, like, a panther with a banana or something, but... I'd love a Lynx, and there's a lot of good XP stuff, so I'm just going to stack it now. Nice. And we're not going to get more level ups unless I find this. But we might be able to buy two new things, so I'm going to take Magic Carpet this time. Don't care about the Fairy. Probably stronger, but we get permanent stats this way. And you've been changed. End turn, copy friendly toy ability at level 1 until end of battle. So I can't just, like, buy and pill you anymore. <laughs> Small Sphinxes? Uh, maybe? I can, like, stack it at the back and buy Avocado. And then I'm pretty sure I can skip the toy, right? Like, I don't have to buy it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Move that further forward. Everything else is fine where it is. Keep it going. Yang Tabbies only. Yeah, they're not my favorite. I really like this guy, but I haven't... I don't know. I haven't felt like combining them. And I don't know if I've actually seen that gingerbread, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I still like having them on the squad. Uh, we have a Lynx. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stack that there. Stack there, buy you. You get two extra attack. Probably going to buy bananas as well. Ooh. Combine those, buy another Lynx. So we get more stats. I like it. And I could buy either of these. I'm going to keep rolling because there is XP everywhere. Actually, ah, no, yeah, keep that frozen because we can still use that on like either of these. Could go for a pair as well, but I really want to try and force getting a level up here. I'm going to shuffle those to the back. Pill links for Monkey, your favorite cat. Yeah, not happening. He stays. I may even keep the, the Lynxes forever. They're pretty good for a tier 4 late game. But yeah, it depends how long the game lasts and if I'm able to pivot. If I instead find a load of um, like Leopards and can start scaling those, then yeah, maybe things change. And there's a Chimera. So I could take it, but we don't have any mana, so <laughs> I think it's a... I think that's just a no. So I'm going to do that to start. I'm kind of tempted to take Garlic, but I want to. I really want to hard roll and try and find a level for this. And I may actually do that instead, because yeah, if we find a good tier 6 next turn, we'd much rather that, so I'm just going to buy all this. And I still think the order's fine, so yeah, send it. Chimera's just bad without mana. It is, yeah. Thing is, it had no synergy. I should have added the tier 5 mana thing, but... I don't know, I haven't tried um, seeing what it does if you just, like, pill it without mana, but I assume it won't summon anything. Unless it does have a base of, like, 1-1. One, one. Big snipes. Okay, we're actually, like, so strong at the moment that if I find an early Lioness, we could maybe just, like, start doing that kind of scaling. So, please, show me that. I'm ready. Okay, Cat and Sabretooth. Um, the food isn't terrible in this pack, so I could grab a regular cat. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy a Stingray first, though. Let's get the flashlight. Buy you. Gonna keep this frozen for a bit longer, because I can still sell, like, a load of other things. And, yeah, okay. So, on you, or do I prepare to get rid of it again? Yeah, put it there. I think I do prepare to get rid of the cat again, but it may be in a while. And I could gingerbread, but I'm still holding out hope that we can, like, pill at some point. Chimera's good if you have gaps like me. Wait, so does it actually summon stuff without it, then? They have one. I'm jealous. 
I'm winning this fight, but I wish I had the scaling. Oh, that's a level. Um, get rid of the Lynx, maybe? Sorry, not the Lynx, the, <laughs> the Sphinx. Do that. I'm just going to do this immediately. I'm not even buying food, but yeah, that at level 2 is going to change a lot. Okay, yeah, I think we're doing food scaling. <laughs> so grab another one of those. I'm just going to leave the Blobfish. I will freeze both of these. And I'm really hoping I find some good food soon. Because right now, this is not the team. But if I get something that's better than an apple, then I'm all in. But yeah, I, I do need things with actual abilities. We're going to need a leopard. Probably going to want a tiger or something. Yeah, I, I think like these are the guys. <laughs> that gets fine as well, but I do need to find the food for that to do something for me. This seems fine. Yeah, we're still going. Okay. <laughs> Alright, do I just like level this up again? I mean, I'm starting here, of course, but... I shouldn't have done that. I should have done that on something else. I completely forgot about the toy. Oh my god. Sabertooth? I want to keep buying these black cats. Like, I could level it up again and see some other thing. <laughs> but I feel like I just keep the black cats. Okay, just, just freeze it. Freeze that. Put that on you. And hopefully find some actual food. One cook, yeah. One free tier 6 food to stop from all packs. I mean, there's a chance that those will pay out. I'd rather not keep pushing for that. What food do I have in this pack? Um, we have pizza, we have sushi, we have pear, and we can get potentially any tier 6 scaling food from the cornucopia. But, yeah, I'm not sure how, like, what the ratio is from, like, equipment to stat food at tier 6. So I'm hoping I'll get lucky and actually find something. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of that. I'm just going to play this other guy, I think. Like, let's, let's start committing. Give me stat food. Pizza. Yes. Bye. Absolutely massive. I love it. <laughs> I don't love the thing it went on, but it is massive. I I don't love where it's going, but fine. Okay. I do see the manticores, but yeah, we're not playing those. Sabertooth is fine. I think we freeze that. And then shuffle a little bit. Don't combine, please. Alright. So I could just sit on this. Like I could just keep buying food. We'll probably get to 50-50 relatively easily. But I, I want at least one leopard. One leopard, please. Yeah, let's see what other people are doing. So lots of late game stuff. Late game stuff is getting swapped in now. Someone else running double black cat. Respect it. Oh, see, like, look at this. Very scary team. Alright, let's close that again. Small black cats. Uh... I don't even want the Lynx. I could, like, buy Alpaca before I buy the Black Cat for another potential level there. I, okay, I think I start throwing, because we're at three. So I definitely don't want you. We can see what this turns into first. Um, we did find a Lioness, but I don't think we're there anymore. So I'm just going to have to buy-sell that. And I'll <laughs> just buy another one of these and then just buy the food. Oh my god, it's all going on the Lynx. Alright, put the other one there. I think this one can't go anywhere anymore, so I think we do just kind of lock ourselves down on that. And cow's fine, but it's not incredible. Yeah, so I'll have to combine if I really want actual value out of that. Cow. Yeah, but it's not as good as it used to be, because these things only have two triggers each now. So I'd have to buy and sell, and I'd only get cow value for that turn. Yes, yeah, so still does deal damage based on your team's levels, but... Right now, I'm just trying to get stats, really. I just wanted the leopards. Like, we can get stats so easily, so I was hoping we'd find something nicer. So, I'm probably just going to have to combine there immediately. I mean, I can do the cornucopia first, actually. And melon. Yeah, we will take that. It's not stat food, but we have stat food down here. And there's another cat. Um, cat, cat, link, save to tiger, leopard, leopards. Okay, we're buying that. We buy this over the other black cats. Show me the leopards. We did get the leopard. Excellent. Then we can buy sell a cow and still end on... Oh, I can even buy this, yeah. Okay, and then we make you really big. <laughs> okay, we're making progress. We at least have one leopard now. So now I just need to try and level it, get it even bigger, and then, I don't know, everything to 50-50 maybe? Is the hope. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, we're fine. Oh, that looks so bad for a second, but <laughs> yeah, okay. Keep it going. Stat food. Good stat food. That is good stat food. And those could have been worse hits, so sure, I'll take it. I, I don't know. I could take a saber tooth tiger or something, but <laughs> I just wanted like another. Yes. And there's even this. Okay. Next turn. We buy this for this turn. But next turn, I think I combine like these two cats and we swap in other leopard. And yeah, I can even do that to get some extra XP because I assume everyone else will be running really good stuff. And then that will probably be my squad. I think double leopard, double black cat and a lynx. It's not like the best of the best, but it's probably the best I'm going to be able to get. So sure. Although everyone's kind of low HP. There's a few people at the top that's on like three or four, but yeah, that could be a lot worse. Oh my god. Okay, fair. Fair. They're on 1 HP. I'll let them have that one. Close this. Still don't really care for you. Um, so yeah, I think we stack immediately. Stack immediately. We do want leopards, so I will buy that. And <laughs> yeah, both are leopards. Excellent. And I'm not sure what to do here. I wanted to buy a cow, but then that kind of ruins pizza. I could buy it before I buy the leopard though, and I think that's probably still worth it, even though I'm going to waste some stats here. Like, whatever it hits is going to be too much, maybe. Alright, so if I sell that, just put that there. And yeah, let's try and spread these out, because it may be better to put everything on the same. Uh, in terms of getting the most value for my money right now, but a lot of the food is random, so I'd rather try and spread it out so we don't end up wasting a ton, getting one thing to 50-50 really early, and then not being able to scale the other things up easily. And that's a very big team. Okay, so this is the kind of team that scares me, because they're using shop scaling. So if they suddenly find a full team of like 50-50 left in the shop, then I'm just screwed. Because <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time swapping in any new things. I'm kind of sitting with what I've got at the moment. And yeah, I will level one of these, but I think I think we leave the rest. And yeah, we'll try a cornucopia. We do need food. Pancakes or tomato. I'll take the tomato. I may roll the other one of those, though. And I want bigger things. I'm going to throw one of these to the front. Leave the tiger. I could try and swap in a tiger right to the end, just for a better ability, but I don't know. Not yet. Oh, in a recent update, random stats dodge 50-50. I actually do think I would heard of that. I don't think I've seen it myself, but I do remember seeing someone saying that. I mean, nothing died, but at least this has not as much HP as it could. Alright, it's cool. We're still going. Oh. Well, it's not level yet. Keep them frozen. I could level this one, but it doesn't give me too much. And honestly, I'm just buying the salad bowl. <laughs> like, unless I do try and get rid of something else. Because like we can get so many stats from this, and I'm still on two. Oh, it's just these teams. Those teams are just so scary. I don't think I can do it. I think we do just kind of commit. And yeah, I'm just going to level you up anyway. You may show me another one. Um, it didn't, but that's fine. Just show me a pizza. Show me, like, one pizza a turn, and I can feel good about having these guys. I'm just trying to think. I feel like I can beat the top team, maybe. I think this one is going to be, like, unbeatable very soon. And then, yeah, <laughs> some pretty scary ones down there as well. Uh, this could be a lot worse, actually. Yeah. All right, very sorry, Black Histy. One down. <laughs> Approaching the end. Uh, could take potato to try and survive leopard stuff, but it's it's not that much better than just trying to get like a a melon. Plus, I'd rather just get stats. So yeah, we'll buy that. And so this should always dodge the fifty fifties apparently. So, and at the very least, it did there. <laughs> All right, love chocolates. We're leaving the cow. Like, there's no way we're swapping something out anymore. And that's a lot of XP. I like it. Okay, we're leveling this next turn. I don't even need to buy food. That's just another, like, 20-something damage snipe. It's pretty solid. And it's actually going to max out his HP, which doesn't help, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
That's a lot of snipes. But my melon survived. I win! Okay, this is the person that beat me a few rounds ago that I thought was probably going to win. So I'm very, very sorry about that. Alright, let's keep this going. Make him a bit scarier. And yeah, I'm going to freeze Cornucopia, because even if it doesn't give me stat food, we only really need stat food on you, and like we can have any decent equipment on the back line. I'm going to swap that right to the back now. We only really won because this got sniped instead of that one. Would have been a draw otherwise. Cornucopia definitely worth it. Yeah, because I put Cornucopia in instead of putting Melon, because there is Turtle to pill, as I think there's a few other things as well. There's this guy, didn't put in Tor. Um, but yeah, you can get like, any tier 6 stuff from this. Melon included. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's probably going to beat me. Yeah. Alright, that's 50-50 shop scaling. Uh, ooh, do I care about this? I think I care about Pit of more, because it may be able to survive, like, scary snipe stuff. So maybe put that on you. And I will be taking a pair, because that's targeted. And honestly, I should probably just take a lemon. Like, try and keep things alive. And yeah, let's throw you to the front now. And honestly, you should probably be, like, near the back, but not right to the back. Around dead. I just don't want it to die early, but I don't think I can really avoid that. Yeah, <laughs> just gets shredded. All right, well, I'm dead again. And let's do a clone as well. Okay. Oh, yo, second place, though. I'll take that. This is a solid game. All right, GG, sweaty. Good game, good game. All right, everybody, welcome. Um, we are doing Abomination and Parrot only. It's all just going to be Abomination Parrot Chains. So basically, when you end your turn, please only have Abominations or Parrots. You can also have Sloths, you can have any food, and anything goes in the shop phase. So, um, yeah, go crazy. <laughs> it's going to be a little while until we can find them, but yeah. And what do I even want to find? I don't think I want to freeze any of this. This is for Sloth. I'm not even interested in a double yet. And will be the overexcited puddings. Does the bomb need highest attack? It does, yeah. It needs higher attack than the parrots copying it. Uh, what would I be looking for? Yeah, I'd be looking for like guinea pig. So we can do that. We can do that later. I'm not freezing any of this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good fights. All right, now all the guinea pigs. Every guinea pig you have, please. One. That's okay for the first turn, but I'm expecting more of these. Ideally, we'll get three, but I will accept two because that's at least still a combo. And honestly, it kind of encourages me to buy avocados, so <laughs> I'd probably rather that. The odds of me finding a parrot or an abomination early is not that high. So yeah, maybe just rolling more would be better. Can you get a parrot without an abomb? Yes. You can have either. So you don't have to wait for an abomination. You can just like buy the first parrot if you get one of those early. Please. One more. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. What's the other thing? I know someone... Okay, yeah, it was the like cracked egg thing. Sneaky egg. So I didn't put that in the pack. I did put in Swordfish. That's potentially the most scary thing to like roll into accidentally. But I think everything else is like objectively good. I think. <laughs> you bought the guinea pigs too early. Yeah, we're still a turn away from that. I'm just gonna have to keep rolling though. I still don't have my combo. I think I am going to buy like any any avocados and I'm just gonna prioritize that over getting these guys. But that also means that you have to find avocados, so we'll see. Avocado. Avocados. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing this. I think uh, guinea pig's out the window now. Yeah, I'm wondering how you do keep them. Because I don't really have targeted food. So if you just happen to get a parrot much bigger than your abomination, then you're just kind of screwed. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you'd have to get cornucopia and... Is there even targeted tier 6 food? I'm losing it. Alright, glad I didn't go against anyone here. 
because I do see a couple of people in chat saying they found some early things. Oh, that's out the window now. <laughs> of course. All right, just keep going. Can't buy that one anymore. All right. So yes, next turn we roll. We roll for parrots and abominations, and hopefully we actually get something. Chicken leg. Yeah, chicken leg is T6. You're right. How many people got early stuff then? Three, like, 11? Yeah, seems about right. If you just play panda, does it die? Uh, pandas do just explode, yes, but I would rather people not do that because you can end up, like, saving gold into later rounds. Alright. Abomination, yes. And I'm just going to try and level that immediately, too. I don't think Kraken's going to be the play. Oh. Well, I love that. Um, Actually, Lynx probably isn't it. <laughs> I think... Yeah, Crocodile is good. Hyena, no. And I think I just roll. He's going to eat two things, but I don't think any of these are it. Like, if he eats the Lynx, he's going to do a two damage snipe. And I don't know if Skunk said either, so I'm just going to send it. So if he has... Uh, oh, wait, this might work. Start a battle if this has six or less attack, gain Coconut Perk. No, because it's going to be level 1, so yeah, it's going to be the same. So this won't do anything, but we do have a crocodile to eat, so... We at least have one good ability. Wait, Panda survives now? Oh, if friend ahead, give 50% of attack and health to it and then faint. Oh, damn, okay. Another thing that I had not seen changed. Oh, no. Okay. Scary? At least that's my first time running into an actual team. Oh! Look at this shop, so much purple and black. Alright. Um, I, I want all of this, but it's like... Is it terrible? I think I have to roll. I need these to eat something. Okay, Hawk could be okay. Really depends. And honestly, I'm gonna... Oh no, because that's gonna be gone next turn. Uh, sure, just eat bunyips and hopefully we'll find something else. A tree. Okay, you get to eat the tree, so that actually works out. <laughs> okay, so you eat both of these, you eat the tree, you'll get coconut armor, and I get some, like, HP and uh, a snipe on this guy. Oh, well, now he doesn't get coconut. Uh, they don't get anything! Everyone just died! No. Painful. What do I do? <laughs> I don't want to just hold this chocolate. I need to get the parrots out, but I don't have any. Just hold on to it. Just roll. Nah, we're leaving that. Ugh. Alright. Look, I'm gonna do this. Try and hit that at least once. Okay. I'll leave that. We did find a parrot, which is good. There's another abomination. Sure. If this is your highest tier pet, gain... 50 stuff. Okay, so they're not going to be able to eat everything anyway, so I'm actually just going to combine and keep that frozen. And yeah, now we only get one pet, so that sucks. Okay, at least I can get that to level 3 and get a power behind the next turn, though. But I'm probably going to get down to like 1 HP before this could, even has a chance to take off. Frozen pets don't get eaten. Um, no, it's just the leftmost start of combat pets that get eaten. So yeah, there's only one there. I can still keep these two. So I will level this. I will buy you. I really want to... Uh, I think it's, this isn't good. I want to freeze all this, but then I don't, I'm worried I'm not going to find a good thing. Because Highland Cow just isn't enough because I don't have enough HP. We definitely don't want that. Look, we'll freeze like that as well. Swap health and that. Make a faint thing daze. Now let's keep rolling. <laughs> this is not good. These are not the sort of things I need to be finding. I need more money. I need to be able to buy everything. Okay, I think next turn I buy parrots, I buy cell zebra, and maybe buy chocolates, and then we can spend a little bit of money rolling for new things to eat. But I'm also expecting this to just explode. Yep. <laughs> yep, not good. Like, I need to keep this. I can't not have that, but... 
Yeah, have one of those. Skunk and bats? They're not bad, to be fair. And, oh, Axe Handle Hound is actually really nice. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, wait, no, now it's not gonna get eaten. Oh god, okay, so they're gonna eat Highland Cow, White Tiger, and Skunk. I will keep that frozen, because I think that's worth doing. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, well if I'm not dead, then we actually have a good team for next round, but... Yeah, I never thought about Axe Handle Hound, that'd be very strong in this. Get some crazy snipes out. Okay, so we snipe everything at least, right? No. Okay, not dead. We can make a comeback. We can do that. Yeah, because I didn't eat that, right? Okay, so parrot, please. Parrot, good. Um, I may have to combine there, because I really need these to chain. I'm not going to bother with popcorn yet. Okay, I like this. So, separate. Don't hit both of those. <laughs> okay, I can do this, and that separates it. And then I could take a leopard. But it's not, it's not going to do a ton of damage. Like it's going to be three damage snipes, but we need to eat three things, so I think it's worth um, holding on to. And how many people have equipment? Not a lot. Let's just grab this, I think. Salmon and Lodge is fine, but it's not great, so yeah. All right, and I think I buy sell Zebra next turn, so these can all get eaten. We're not buying another one of these. I just want more, like, Parrot Chain, really. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. That's not how it works. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Stego munch. Yeah. Oh, wait, it actually did kind of work. Okay. Okay, but I still need to stagger these a lot. What do I even do? Yeah, just buy this again. Please, change what you do. Good, okay, I can work with that. So, do it this way. Because I'm pretty sure that this doesn't cause any problems, even though you're like going to be a lower tier than that. And I'm going to freeze both of these, because who knows if I'm going to find better things. And I can actually get you leveled up, which I kind of like. And I like this. And honestly, having Cocktrees could be fine. Start about to transform the backmost level 1 or lower enemy to a rock. Never mind, that will not do anything. The level 2 ability will be able to hit higher tier things, but we definitely want those, and I don't really care about the rest, so just roll it. And sure, that can be one thing that you do. That's actually fine. Oh no, they're, yeah, they're all still gonna copy it. But yeah, we're good. Hmm? That seems really good. First trophy. Turn what? Turn 14, first trophy. Yeah, great. Okay. Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, pill you. This is an amazing shot, by the way. Um, put you on there. And do I, like, freeze everything? Is Hulk better than the rock? Everyone has, like, pretty full teams now, right? I think I'd rather the Hawk. So roll all that. Um, actually, leave the Crow. I think I do want Melon on something, and I can maybe Gingerbread you, but I don't think it matters too much. So yeah, we'll just snipe with those. Freeze double Melon. And I think this is going to shred. I think unless someone else has like a similar amount of snipes and also summons, then I think we're fine. I mean, they're definitely exploding. Nah, they had a summon. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like... I actually can't remember how many people we had in here. It was probably about 40s, yeah. I'm like bottom 10. Oh, well. GG's. GG's.